Meanwhile, Wake Forest is in a PR nightmare right now. They are dealing with a PR nightmare. They're getting dragged all over the internet because of the cancellation of the Ole Miss game next year, beaten 40 to six on the field in Winston Salem, canceling the game next year, paying a million dollars to do so. It's a PR nightmare, partly of Wake Forest creation, or pretty much entirely of Wake Forest creation. Right now, Lane Kiffin is just beating up the Deeks in public, beat them up on the field. And then in his post-game press conference, he's the one that broke the news of Wake canceling the game. Here's how that sounded. Uh, came motivated, good energy early on. You know, we talked to him during the week about this, you know, last time they get to play these guys. These guys during the week, you know, um, called over and John Curry said, we're not playing next year and bought out of the game. So I thought that was a good message for our players that somebody wanted to pay money not to play, not to play them, um, you know. This is a lot of where our program is right now. Interesting choice. Him naming John Curry. John Curry's calling Lane Kiffin, or is Lane Kiffin just saying what he was told when he says they called us? He called the AD to let them know. John Curry was at Tennessee the same time Lane Kiffin was there. Lane's not thought of very highly at Tennessee when he parachuted out of Knoxville the way that he did. Maybe there's some bad blood there. Probably not, but maybe so. But mistake number one from a PR perspective for Wake, they let Lane Kiffin control the message. Rather than putting out the news themselves, dumping it on Friday ahead of the weekend where everybody forgets about it by Monday or at some point on Saturday while all these games are happening, this is a night game. It happens. Lane Kiffin makes fun of Wake saying, well, we used it as motivation since we're not going to play them next year. It made Wake look bad. It made them look small. Dave Clausen's complaining about lack of resources after the game. Then you learn that Wake paid a million dollars not to play the team that just drilled them in Winston-Salem. Lane wasn't done. Lane said this at his weekly press conference yesterday. A very abnormal thing for Wake to do. I'll put it in neutral words. <laughs> um, you know, you usually don't do that a year, you know, in the season before it's hard. There's not people to play. So it's why you do scheduling in advance and you make deals and you go and play there and they come back. And so, you know, that was really not something I would just say that's rarely ever done. I've never really heard of doing it. And it really puts us at a big disadvantage and is what it is. Obviously wasn't appreciated very much. So Kind of unwritten rule not to do that, actually. So Lane Kiffin has said all these things. Wake Forest has said nada, nothing. No releases, no from the quad newsletter, anything like that. Dave Clawson would speak to the media today, but it's a bye week. So the next time we'll hear from Dave Clawson is on Stan Cotton's radio show tomorrow with Wake being on the off week. This is now the top college football story on ESPN. You go to ESPN.com. The third tab underneath the Panthers getting ripped for benching Bryce Young is Lane Kiffin hitting Wake Forest over the head with the club for canceling this game a year out. So if you're Wake, how do you get out of this PR nightmare? What is the next move for the Demon Deacons? It seems clear what could be a win for Wake. If Wake wants to clean up this mess, and do something that would make them look good rather than bad and small, agree to play App State and Boone next year. That solves a lot of problems. A lot of them. You know they have an opening. As Lane said, a year out with team scheduling as far out as they do, how many teams have availability for next year? We know App State does. Why? Because NC State cowardly pulled their game for Boone next year to play Virginia in a non-conference game. So you get to do two things. You get to schedule a game that your fans would like, that would be applauded by a lot of the media that's crushing you right now, playing a regional game and agreeing to do so on the road. 
and you get to jab your rival a little bit. The same way Lane Kiffin's doing what he's doing right now, you could say, oh, NC State, you won't go up the mountain to boom, but we will. That's what we're going to do. It'll be approved of locally. You don't have to pay. So with all those resources, you don't have to spend any more resources to pay someone else after paying a million to get out of the game and Dave Clawson railing about the resources he doesn't have afterwards. This is a team that you have more resources than. Also, it's still challenging yourself. Because right now, when you look at the non-conference games that Wake Forest has on the board for next year, it's three home games, two against FCS teams, and one against the team that just started in FBS this year, Kennesaw State. It's Kennesaw State, Delaware, and Western Carolina. That's who they're playing right now. No road games. So you have room to play a road game. Go to Boone. Make it happen. Replace the game that NC State was going to play. And make yourself look somewhat respectable rather than being laughed at right now. Which Wake Forest is because you didn't control the message and allowed Lane Kiffin to laugh at you. Here's what it should look like. An App State Wake Forest series. Three-year agreement. Doug Gillen, the App AD, had told us about this years ago. But he's been in conversations with John Curry and wants to do a three-year agreement. Two games in Winston-Salem, including a makeup for the game that was canceled in 2020 due to COVID that was set to be in Winston-Salem, one game in Boone. So what it should look like is a game in Boone next year and then two games in Winston-Salem beyond that, three-year agreement, App State, Wake Forest playing each other as you, as they should. It's a game that's good for North Carolina. It's a series that has a lot of history. Regionally, obviously, it makes sense. Wake has not played App State in close to a decade, seven years. Since 2017, that game has not happened. So if Wake wants to escape this current PR nightmare they're in, scheduling a low-level Power 4 team like Northwestern isn't going to be the answer. Playing App State, that would make the most sense. Go up the mountain, do what NC State would not. Sk play somebody of note after you canceled the game against Ole Miss and paid a million dollars to do so. That is the move for Wake.